welcome back guys this is part three in the stratocaster rebuild uh, in this video we're gonna be putting some paint on the body uh, i've decided to go with white on the front of the body and black on the back i'm gonna come in and uh fade the black in around the edges uh kind of like a burst effect but just the two colors black and white uh, it's gonna be a very thin line around the edge on the front of the black so i think it should look pretty cool if it turns out well i'm probably going to do the same on the headstock of the neck the front of the headstock i'm going to paint it white with the black on the edge to match the body and i think that'll look really cool so we're going to jump right in i got my airbrush set up uh, i'm going to be doing it in airbrush so it's probably going to take a few coats to get it covered nicely uh, I want to keep the the layers very thin so that it's a flat, smooth finish. I won't have to sand it, hopefully, before we put the clear coat on. Um, and also, the airbrush is going to give me a better control to paint around the edges. I'm also doing this indoors uh, in my basement, so I want I don't want the fumes uh, from traditional spray paint, and I won't get all the overspray as well. So we're gonna jump right in and get started on this. We're gonna start with the white. We're just gonna test it out. I wanna see what kind of control I can get around the edges for when I come in with the black.
All right, so time to get started on this neck. Uh, you know, we've already sanded down the neck. I've gone ahead and masked off the fretboard and the front of the headstock. I'm gonna paint the headstock to match the body. So we only want stain on the neck and the back of the headstock. Um, I'm gonna be using a red mahogany wood stain by Verithane. And uh, I'm gonna put this on very light. I don't want it too dark. And I'm just gonna use a paper towel. I'm gonna start putting this on. Okay, so I've got the neck all stained. It's got a nice, a uh, little bit darker, richer color. Looks a little uh, older style. Um, there's some dark spots here and there, probably from how I sanded it. But I think it looks pretty cool. Makes it look kind of aged. Uh, I'm gonna finish this with couple coats of true oil and that's going to give it a nice hard finish a uh, nice glossy shine I'll probably sand the neck back a little bit afterwards uh, just so it's not so shiny on the neck give it a little smoother finish uh, but for the headstock it's going to be a nice shiny finish so we'll go ahead and start putting the true oil on And just a couple light coats should do it. guys so here we are getting close to uh, finishing the body and the neck uh, they're pretty much done for the most part uh, the neck we stained I went ahead and painted the headstock to match the body I went ahead and put the uh, fender logo on there 
which came out pretty good. Kind of blends into the black, kind of fades away. So that looks pretty cool. Final step for the neck, I'm just gonna hit it with another coat or two of the uh, True Oil headstock and the neck. And uh, we'll come back and buff that out and that'll be ready to go. As for the body, you can see uh, that wet sanding before the final coats are clear really gave me a nice smooth finish. Um, I'm not even going to go and sand this down at all again. That's how good it looks. Really pleased with the way that came out. Uh, the only thing I am going to do, because it's so shiny and kind of tacky, I am going to come in with some compound polish and we'll buff it and that'll take some of that shine down and make it nice and smooth and we'll be able to handle it and get it all assembled. So stay tuned. In the next section, I'm going to show you how I buff the body out and then we'll be ready to move on from there. So hang on and we'll be right back. pretty good all right guys so here we are body neck completed ready for assembly uh, we'll tackle that on the next video for now this is the end of this part in the series I hope you've enjoyed it so far I hope you're enjoying my videos uh, thanks for subscribing thanks for watching if you like what you see let me know leave a comment Hit that like button and we'll see you on the next video when we start putting this together. So till then, take care guys.